Welcome to V3 Training. Today's 10 minute stretching routine is going to focus primarily on shoulder and thoracic mobility. Throughout today's session, all you'll need is a one inch PVC pipe, about the length of how tall you are, along with a comfy yoga mat to kneel on. As with every stretching session, it's highly recommended to do at least five to 10 minutes of light cardio to warm up before you stretch the muscles. At the start of our session, we're gonna get in a nice kneeling position that's comfortable for the foreseeable 10 minutes. We're gonna start with some over-unders to get those shoulders warmed up. With our next transition here, we're gonna grab our mobility stick and place it next to our right leg. We're gonna get a grip higher up on the stick and we're gonna try and get a nice firm pull down through your right flank. With this movement on the right, left, and center of your body, let's try and focus on keeping a firm grip, letting your body relax, and really pulling down and releasing all those tight muscles. Now we're gonna switch over to our left side and repeat. Now we're gonna to transition to the center. Going to bring the pole to the middle and use both hands to grab on firmly and try and drop that head down just a little bit and feel that pull right through the middle of your back. Now that we've stretched out our shoulders a little bit, we're gonna focus on getting a good side to side seesaw stretch here. As you move from side to side, you're gonna focus on keeping the same movement speed, really stretching out those flanks and all those tight muscles in your sides. You may also feel this in your hips as well. As we finish up our seesaw movement, we're gonna work on a front to back movement. You're gonna keep the same grip width and you're gonna really try and focus on getting a full range of movement as much as possible. If this is difficult for you, you may need to bump your arms out a little bit further so that your grip is wider. And the more advanced you are, the more narrow grip that you will be able to maintain. Keeping the same grip width, you're going to begin with shoulder circles. We're going to try and start leading with our left arm. The right arm will follow all the way around. So you see here we start with our left and you follow with the right. 
and you repeat until the time is over. As we transition to the next shoulder rotation circuit, we're going to lead with our right arm instead. We'll be finishing up here with our shoulder rotations and we're going to work right into front to back movements again. If you get a little uncomfortable being in a low squat position, feel free to readjust so you can complete the session. Finishing up our front to backs, we're going to work right into another 55 seconds of seesaws. Really focus on that extra movement throughout the flank, trying to get a little bit better range of motion than you did for the first time. As we finish up with our seesaws, we're going to go back to what we started with, and that's a right arm stretch. If you want to increase your mobility and try and get a little bit better stretch this time, you can roll in, bringing your chest or chin closer to your stretching device. All right, now let's transition to that left side. As we finish up with the left arm, we're going to go to our final stretch of the day, and that's to a center stretch. If you want to emphasize a little bit better stretch on your lats and center of your back, you can kick your knees back and really pull down close to the floor.
that's all we've got for today. Thanks for participating. I hope you feel nice and stretched out and you join us for next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.